We are currently in the middle of a brouhaha where the members of the NFL have decided to protest the um, police mistreatment of African Americans, among other things, and the process or the, the way that that protest is happening is in taking a knee during the national anthem. Um, our president called the people protesting sons of bitches. He called for the firing and the punishment of those that protest because doing so is disrespecting the flag and the United States of America. I posted that I was moved to tears this weekend when I saw how many athletes took a knee and joined in protest. I've never thought of professional athletes as being role models and it's frustrated me to see our gladiators exalted to this role model state, but this weekend I saw heroism on the field and it was exciting and it was inspiring. Someone said, thinking that taking a knee during the national anthem is protesting the flag is like thinking that Rosa Parks was protesting public transport. Someone else in my thread where I was talking about this said that to them, taking a knee during the national anthem outside of burning the flag is the most disrespectful thing you could do to the United States of America. To which I'm like, what? First of all, taking a knee is a very respectful gesture of disapproval. Turning your back on the flag, giving the finger to the flag, burning, urinating on the flag, dragging it on the ground, these are in expressions of disrespect. Taking a knee is a humble gesture of disapproval. And to say that it is the most disrespectful thing you could do, to me, I can think of so many more disrespectful things. For example, my friend Tim said, well, what about marching through the streets with Nazi flags? That's disrespectful to the United States. What about, what about speaking from the Oval Office with obscenities? What about ignoring millions of people suffering in, United States citizens suffering in Puerto Rico, and instead making your press conference about sports, taking on sports? What about looking at protest as being un-American? Protest is part of the self-correcting system of America. America is never, has never been set up as something to be done and correct. It is set up as a system. The Constitution is built into our very core as a country is a self-correcting system where when you see something wrong, you speak up and you work to fix it. That is as patriotic as you can be in this country. And to, to say otherwise is cowardly. Henry Rollins had a quote where he said, it's easy to spot the cowards. Cowards are the ones who hide behind freedom. Heroes are the ones who stand in front of it, putting personal risk to defend it. Being a professional athlete, having everything, and risking disapproval, risking your career, risking all that you have for your values, for your children, that is patriotic and that is heroic. Refusing to have dialogue, refusing to admit anything is broken in the name of blind patriotism is cowardly. So I salute all those that are protesting in whatever direction, doing so peacefully, doing so respectfully, because that is how America grows. That is how we evolve. And in the state of the world right now, in the state of our environment and our risks of nuclear war and fascism, we need to be self-correcting. We need to be critical of the state of things so that we can evolve, so that we can grow, so that we can not crumble as a society. Thank you to all who are heroic. Thank you to all who support freedom in a path of personal risk. I will take a knee in solidarity to all those who are standing up for what they believe in. Thank you. I love you.